What is up guys? My name is Augustine from DFO, also known as a bit of a football opinions on Instagram, and I'm back with another video, another prediction video. We've done so many of these in the channel. The last one we did was a Champions League round of 16 prediction video. You can see it like right up here, or there's gonna be a link in the bio. You can check out how good or bad I did. I think I got like five out of eight correct, which is pretty good in my opinion. And so now we're gonna be doing the same thing because just a few hours ago, the Champions League draw took place, and now we know what are gonna be the matches for the quarterfinals, and not just that, but also the semifinals, and even the final. Turns out UEFA changed the way they do things, and now we just know how the whole bracket works. But enough of that, let's focus on the Champions League matches. We have so many interesting matches, all four of them are incredible. I'm gonna do what I always do, I'm gonna go through the matches, I'm gonna analyze them with my amazing football knowledge that is right up here, and we're gonna see how good or bad I do. But before we do that, I just realized that I'm wearing a Juventus jersey because it's kind of tradition, but then again, um, we did get knocked out by Porto, so uh, I need a new jersey. I need to wear a jersey from a team that is in Champions League. So uh, give me one second. Oh. <laughs> no, definitely not in Champions League. Uh, guys, come on, give me a Champions League jersey. God. Dude, wrong continent. They don't even play in Europe. Oh, for God's sake, this isn't even a team. There we go, looking good. Thank you guys. Uh, just do better next time. Um, anyways, without further ado, we're gonna go into the matches right away. Let's do this. I'm gonna start off with Man City versus Dortmund. This is gonna be one heck of a game. I guarantee you we're gonna have so many goals in both matches. On the one hand, we've got City who are dominating in the Premier League and they've also done pretty good performances in the Champions League. They just knocked out Borussia Mönchengladbach. Black, black, black. <clears throat> that, that one team with the black and yeah. And I don't remember them struggling in the Champions League that much other than a few uh, slips in the group stage, but nothing major. Um, and again, they are dominating in the Premier League. And then on the other hand, you've got a Haaland-driven Dortmund who are just a lot better than I anticipated. Because if you guys remember, I thought Dortmund were going to get knocked out by Sevilla in the round of 16. And they didn't because Haaland messed up my prediction. Honestly, this guy is incredible. He loves... Champions League Knights. He might just be the next Cristiano Ronaldo when it comes to how he shines in Champions League Knights like this. It's definitely going to be interesting, especially because City are favorites to sign the Wonder Kid. Uh, so this could be like a little test for Haaland to see if he performs against them. Okay, but seriously, when it comes down to it, the only thing I could see not working for City is if Guardiola pulls another Guardiola like last season and he just kind of moves around the formation and uh, overthinks the game too much like he did last year versus Lyon, a game which he should have won. But other than that, all the signs show that Man City should go through. The fact that they're dominating in the Premier League and the fact that they're doing so well in other competitions, which is the complete opposite I can say for Dortmund, will definitely help them because probably their team will be very rested for when it comes to this match. This is their match. They are favorites to not just win this game but also go all the way in this competition and, and win it i think along with bayern munich they're the two favorites to win this whole thing so yeah when it comes down to it if if i'm using my logic and and all the little facts that i have city just look like the strongest team they have more factors going for them the only way i can see Dorman winning is again if guardiola messes up doing his guardiola things or if Haaland just pulls <laughs> hatrick out of his ass which is possible it would probably hurt though. But anyways, I'm giving Man City the win and they move on to the semifinals. Next up is Porto versus Chelsea. <sighs> okay, I'm about to say it. I know, unpopular opinion. I know, I know. And maybe, I don't know why I'm saying this. Just, just hear me out, okay? Porto are gonna go through. Look, no one is counting on them right now. Nobody was counting them before when, when they knocked us out. When they put up a huge fight against Juventus in both legs and uh, this team has uh, they have cojones. They have uh, they have the will to fight. They have a good back line and they got they got that striker dude I forgot his name. <laughs> Anyways, this team is very I wouldn't say underrated because they are the dark horses in the competition On the other hand you have Chelsea who have improved a lot ever since they brought up to shell And they did knock out the first place of La Liga Atletico Madrid who just seem to be crumbling more and more and more each week But just something in my heart tells me that Porto are gonna go through and pull off an Ajax a Monaco or whatever you want to call it But they're gonna pull it off. Okay, maybe I just just want Porto to win just so Juventus don't look so shitty for getting knocked out by them I don't know I don't know it's just when I listen to my heart Porto goes through if I can give you any more factors I mean Chelsea uh, will still be fighting for top four and they really do need that top four they got the team for it there's no reason why they shouldn't achieve it so 
Yeah, the Champions League is the priority. But again, something in my heart just tells me Porto. Listen to your heart, not your mind, okay? Thirdly, we have Bayern versus PSG. This is bound to be the most exciting match in the quarterfinals. This match has the potential and the vibes to be a final. And in fact, it was a final last season. Speaking of last season, Bayern looked just as strong as they were last season. Maybe just a little bit in the lower level, but nothing crazy. There have just been a few matches in the season where they didn't look like the convincing Bayern that they were last season when they're just like kind of crumbled every team that got in front of them let's see this is this is very hard to predict because there's a few factors that could come into play we got to talk about that Neymar factor and whether or not he's actually going to play because he's missed so many Champions League games and like so many crucial ones and knockout stages does he have any upcoming family members birthday or something I don't know. To be honest, yes, Mbappe looks incredible. Both teams have a great 11. I don't have to tell you who they have. You guys know the players. You guys know that a lot of them are world class. So this is probably going to be the highest level of Champions League football that we're going to see in the quarterfinals. If I had to put my finger in one of them and just choose one, which I do have to do that because that's the whole point of the video, I'm going to choose Bayern. Why? It just looks more logical. <laughs> I'm hoping otherwise though, I'm hoping PSG do win and keep on advancing. Maybe that could draw Messi into them. And uh, that that is something I wanna see. But yeah, enough of that. I do see Bayern advancing. I'm gonna hope otherwise, but if my life depended on it, yeah. Bayern go through. Sounds good to me. All right, guys. And last but not least, we've got Real Madrid versus Liverpool. This game is actually pretty fun to analyze because none of these sides are at their best. They're actually kind of just all over the place. Let's see. In one side, we've got Liverpool, who I don't know what plays they are on the table, but they're outside of top six last time I checked. They've had so many injuries in the back line, and that just messed up the whole team. And then the forwards, Mohamed Salah, Mane, and Firmino, just look like three complete different players from who we know they are. They just haven't been doing good at all. Then Thiago Thiago has not been adjusting. There's talks about club out, which I think it's kind of BS. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is Liverpool are not at their best right now, and they don't show any signs of improvement, which is very worrying. There's a few teams out there that play different football when it comes to Champions League. They just have that UCL DNA, Real Madrid being one of them. And then Liverpool, yes, they've shown better performances in the Champions League, and I'll give them that. But they do have, like, too many problems. And then you look at Madrid, and um, their main problem, if anything, would be their forward line, but they are getting better as the weeks go by. They keep on winning their games. They don't really pull the best performances. Their football is always, like, a little bit off from, from being good football. Like, I blame it on the forwards. I just think that... Uh, Vinicius, Rodrigo, Asensio, Benzema is amazing, but the other three are the, the couple more people on the bench. Like, they just don't seem to be at Real Madrid level. Like I said, their forwards are getting better, and that's something that is going to help Real Madrid by a lot. Because when you look at any other side in the pitch, they have world-class players or they have players that are very in form. If you look at their midfield, that midfield of Valverde, Modric, Casemiro, Cruz, those four could win a match by themselves, no matter who you put in the pitch. And then in the back line, you have Ron Ramos and an amazing Nacho. And then you got Mendy and Courtois. All these players are going to be so hard to penetrate and to, you know, actually knock them out of the Champions League would be such a huge honor. Yes, both sides have problems. Liverpool, though, they have a lot more and they are not showing signs of improvement. Like I mentioned before, Real Madrid just have that UCL DNA. It doesn't always come through. It's just like a little thing that like sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. Because, yeah, you could have said the same thing against Ajax or against whoever they got knocked out of the last few seasons. But I just feel like whenever they go up against Liverpool, their form and their problems are going to are gonna be huge factors. I do got to mention that Hazard is going to miss it because it's his... 24th injury since he got to Real Madrid. But like I said, their forwards are improving and they are getting better. They're showing it little by little. And by the time April kicks around, maybe they'll have a more established forward line who will just, you know, maybe the whole team will just play a lot better. So yeah, I'm giving Real Madrid the pass to the semifinals. If my predictions are correct, that means we would have City versus Bayern and Real Madrid versus Porto which would be pretty interesting matches, to be honest. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's not talk about those potential semifinals. Let's talk about this quarterfinals. Who do you think is going to go through? Do you agree with my picks? I know I went kind of basic, but also unpopular with the Porto game. But let me know what you think. Feel free to just comment down in the comment section and debate with all the DFO community. That's just what we do best. I got to thank you all for watching this video. As always, thank you for showing support to the channel every single day. Once again, if you want to see the round of 16 prediction that I did when the draw was announced, uh, it's going to be right up here or in the link at the bottom. You know, it's it's you'll find it. But yeah, other than that, I'm gonna thank you once again for watching the video, and I will see you guys in the next time. As always, take care and cheers.